Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So let me start by reminding you guys to visit my page and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon on your right to get notified about my future videos. So today I've got you guys a very traditional recipe of America, chicken pot pie but with an Indian twist of chicken tikka. So let's make chicken tikka pot pie. So here is the list of ingredients for making chicken tikka. Here's some boneless chicken, ginger garlic paste, red chili powder, some turmeric and red food color, some salt, lemon juice, thick yogurt, whole spices powder and finally some coriander powder. Here I have my chicken and let me show you how I slice it. I gently place my knife over the chicken piece and slice it with an angle. This makes the chicken more juicy and not rubbery. Into the chicken I'll add the lemon juice, salt and the red chili powder. Mix this well and let it sit for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, now I'll add the ginger garlic paste to it. Then goes in the yogurt. Then I'll add the turmeric and red food color. Whole spices powder, coriander powder. Now we will mix this very nicely and let it sit for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, let's heat the pan and add enough foil to it. Once the oil is hot, now we will add the chicken pieces to the pan one by one. Do not overlap the pieces and let them fry until golden brown on both the sides. Once done, now we'll take out the chicken in a bowl and keep it aside. So now we'll start by making pot pie gravy. So here is the list of ingredients for it. So here we have finely chopped onions, chopped carrots, chopped french beans, chopped green onions, green peas, sweet corn, some salt and black pepper, all-purpose flour, whole milk, heavy cream, one cube of chicken stock, you can even use fresh chicken stock and here's some oil. Let's heat the pan and add oil to it. Once the oil is hot, now I'll add the chopped onions to it. I'll fry the onions until soft and translucent. Once the onions are soft, now I'll add the carrots to it. Then I'll add french beans to it. Saute them really well. Then I'll add half of green onions to it. Again saute them for 5 minutes. Now I'll add salt and pepper to it. Give it a mix and then add the chicken stock to it. I'll crush the chicken stock before adding it to the pan. That will make it more easy to incorporate with the vegetables.
Now add the green peas and sweet corn to the pan. And now I'll add the all-purpose flour to it and roast the flour until all the raw smell has gone completely. Now I will slowly add the milk to it. Stir the milk continuously to avoid forming any lumps. Adding the flour thickens the gravy and also gives it a good consistency. As you can see, the gravy starts to thicken. Once done, now it's time to add the chicken to it. Mix the chicken well and then we will add the cream to it. And now we will cook it for 2 more minutes. Do not overcook the cream as it will melt into oil. Once done, now we will switch off the flame. Here I have my pie dish into which I will transfer the gravy. Top it off with some fresh parsley and coriander leaves. So let's jump on to the final step of layering the gravy with the pie crust. For this I have taken a store bought puff pastry sheet. You can also make it at home. Please do comment below if you want me to put up a video on how to make puff pastry sheets. So let's gently unroll the pastry sheet. Be very careful and do not let it break. Now I'll flour the sheet that will make it more easy to handle. As the sheet is a little thick, I'll roll it thin. So here's the rolled pastry sheet. As this is too big for the pot, let me cut it into half. And for the remaining half, you can store it for later use. Here I'll cut the sheet into 10 thin strips. Here's the gravy pot. So let's go ahead and make a mesh pattern with this thin pastry strips. Place 5 strips vertically. Then we will make a pattern by doing evens and odds with the strips. First we will raise the even strips and place the strip. And then we will do the odd strips and place the horizontal strip. Similarly, follow this step until the whole mesh pattern is done. If this gets a little tiring for you, you can even place whole pastry sheet over the pot and close the pot. Finally, give it a clean look by folding in the leftover edges. Until then, preheat the oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Here I have beaten one egg by adding some water to it. 
Let's brush this mixture onto the pie crust. Brushing the egg gives it a very crisp look. Let's place the pot into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until it is done. Chicken tikka pot pie is now ready. Serve it hot with some fresh cream on top. Please do try this recipe and I'm sure you'll love it. If you like this recipe, please comment in the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until then, bye-bye.